Hello, hello everyone from around the world. My name is Abdul Karim Alias. In this video, I would like to share on live streaming, how to, how to do live streaming and how to set up your PowerPoint presentation on live streaming. Especially, uh, this video is especially for Mac users who are using Ecamm application to do their live streaming. Actually, um, <clears throat> a couple of days ago, uh, Adrian Salisbury here, he has shared a video and she walked through uh, how to set up the keynote presentation. So th thank you very much, Adrian. Uh, I have watched a lot of your videos. All the videos are very useful for new Ecamm users uh, like me. Uh, so. Adrian actually has shown how to set up the keynote, <coughs> the keynote presentation, and then run the presentation um, in Ecamm. And um, Adrian actually saved the presentation as PDF, and then used the PDF as an overlay, and then control the PDF, and next, uh, mo moving from slide to slide within the Ecamm window. And uh, Adrian also um, saved the keynote file as an HTML file and run the presentation from the browser within the within the Ecamm window. Uh, actually, I find it uh, it's quite tricky actually to set up the PowerPoint presentation running the PowerPoint slide with all the animation, the transition, everything in tech. So actually, to set up the PowerPoint we have to do some kind of uh, trial and error because um, maybe in the future it can, can would allow the the application in, including the powerpoint the powerpoint presentation to be controlled within the ecam uh, window uh, within inside the ecam window here so that would be very useful because it's easier otherwise um, we have to do some setup, which is <clears throat> a bit tricky initially, but uh, it can be done. So, for example, here I have my PowerPoint here. So, I want to run this whole PowerPoint in Ecamm when I start the Ecamm Live. <clears throat> so, what we can do, we can, you can uh, launch your PowerPoint. So, I have my PowerPoint presentation here. So that's one uh, setup that we have to do uh, before we can adjust the PowerPoint, uh, set up the PowerPoint to run uh, in full screen in Ecamm. So in PowerPoint, by the way, I'm using um, PowerPoint for Mac users, for Mac here. But uh, for PC, I think you can uh, figure out, uh, you can find the same way how to set up using the methods I, um, that uh, I'm going to show here. So under slideshow, you can find uh, here setup slideshow. So this is uh, one uh, important step that you have to do. So in setup slideshow, you'll find uh, show type, uh, three options here presented by speaker full screen, which normally the default that uh, when we run the PowerPoint, it will go to full screen on our computer screen. But uh, for to set up for Ecamm, <coughs> uh, we have to choose this option, browse by an individual window. Okay, and that's all we need to do. So what it means is when we run the PowerPoint in full screen, it will run in the window, and it depends on the size of the window that we will uh, adjust. So when you click OK. Then the next step is you can actually adjust the window in such a way as you can see here. When I adjust my PowerPoint window here, and you can see how it changes in the Ecamm screen here. So what we are what I'm going what, what we should try to do is to adjust this window here so that it can fill fill up almost the whole screen of Ecamm. And before that, we can actually 
set up for full screen so you can see here the PowerPoint run in full screen but it is it will take the size of the window that we have that we adjust here so this is what the setup slide show just now uh, basically does we set up the, the PowerPoint window the PowerPoint to run in full screen uh, in the in the window rather than the full screen uh, of the computer so as you can see here as I uh, as I adjust the, the PowerPoint window here it will take the the, the, the ecam screen behind here so what we can do here is we can just adjust almost like a full screen like that like this like so so when we run the presentation in ecam we can switch from can see what's happening in ecam so that we can see here uh, we can change the scene if you like from PowerPoint to from a full screen here to show your webcam to show your face maybe or you can run the PowerPoint and then your webcam become uh, picture in picture uh, in the corner here which you can adjust the position here or you can also change like this square or round or square like this okay and you can see here the PowerPoint has fill up the window of the web of the ecamm then when you want to run the PowerPoint you can go to the PowerPoint screen and then you can run the PowerPoint and all the animation like so So if you want to see what's going on in the ecamm, you can just switch back to ecamm. Then you can check what's the comment and, and so on uh, from, from the audience. You can also ch change the scene in between. You can uh, switch from scene to scene. And then you can go back to the, uh, to the PowerPoint like, like this. But the, unfortunately, we cannot control the PowerPoint within this ecamm window so we have to go back here and then can uh, continue the presentation then if you want to go back to ecamm live can just switch to ecamm live then can switch the scene uh, if you wish or respond to the comment or check what's the comment uh, from the audience so basically this is um, uh, the way that I set up the PowerPoint to run on ECAM uh, when we do the ECAM live. But I hope ECAM will allow us to run the PowerPoint and control the PowerPoint from the ECAM window, just like when we, how we can control the PDF. If we save the PowerPoint as PDF, we can do the same just like Adrian did for Keynote. We can uh, control the 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 PowerPoint and the PDF format and we can move from slide to slide by, by using the control um, on the screen itself, on this ECAM screen, uh, screen itself. So that's very briefly um, the kind of the, the way I set up the PowerPoint. Maybe there is an easy way uh, but uh, I guess this is basically one of the ways we can use to run the PowerPoint in ECAM. So I hope you have enjoyed this uh, video you have learned something from this video and um, I hope you can uh, subscribe to this channel uh, I will like uh, I will share more videos in the future uh, not well not only in cam in my channel you can find uh, many other things uh, educational video that I share with uh, everyone so thank you and uh, see you again